Here we are logging into the free to play 500 total world with 39 players. Absolutely crazy. But here we are. Welcome back, guys, to episode. What the hell is this? 13? Let me see. Welcome back, guys, to episode 13 of the free to play level 3 skiller series. Starting out this video with 561 free total level. And we only have one quest left, which is the Shield of Arav. Definitely not going to be doing the same style that I did in the last video, even though I enjoyed making it. I think it was my lowest performing video on this whole channel. So yeah, I think in this video, we're going to be getting level 75 smithing and level 75 fishing. Really not looking forward to spending so much money getting 75 smithing, but it is a grind that we have to do, which unfortunately means that we are not going to be reaching our 10 mil cash stack, at least not yet. Maybe in the future, but uh, definitely not with smithing. That is unless I make silver bars and making silver bars would actually make me about 1.6 mil, but I would have to make 24,166 silver bars. So I don't think I'm going to be doing and 61 smithing coming in here and we can now make mithril chain bodies something we are never gonna do as you guys can see over here smelting silver ore you could do about 935 of them per hour if you're walking the whole time i just don't want to manage my run and it's also about 13,000 xp an hour which is pretty bad but it's not as bad as regularly rune crafting that's for sure and we currently have 13,000 of the 24,000 that we need so we have a very, very long way to go. And if I round up and say I get 1,000 bars an hour, it's going to take me another 22 hours to finish. Honestly, at this point, smelting silver is like a full-time job. Crafting my fortune in the forge's bind Smithing all day through the blistering heat Adage those furnace where dreams meet With passion ablaze, my wealth I pursue In the arms of Rootscape, my journey is true We are finally on the last inventory of silver ore. It has taken absolutely forever. I've been playing eight hours a day, just making silver bars for the last three days straight. It is the most boring thing you could ever do. Just so that maybe we can reach a 10 mil cash stack and we don't have to spend it all on smithing training. I hope this is enough. It should be. Hopefully we might be right on the edge. But hopefully prices didn't change too much in the amount of time it took me to make these bars. But anyway, it's about time. Level 68 smithing. We can now make mithril plate bodies. I gotta use the calculator to see how many mithril bars we're gonna need and how much it's gonna cost. But according to the Grand Exchange, if I sell these for about 100 each, I'll make 2.4 mil. Not sure if there's a Grand Exchange tax on silver bars. There probably is, unfortunately. But regardless, let's go get these things sold and see how much money we made. All right, so I'm putting them in for 99 each because that's what it says that they're actively trading for. And I will get back to you guys when everything has sold. Okay, so after quite a while, they finally sold for just under 2.4 mil, which brings our final cash stack all the way up to 10 mil. Almost 10.3 mil, actually. But it's so nice to see a 10 mil cash stack in free to play, especially on a level three skiller, because 10 mil is actually around the price of a bond right now. So it is pretty cool to know that with these stats that you could see here, we managed to make enough cash with the help of drop parties, of course, in order to get a bond in free to play. We're not going to do it. Obviously, this is a free to play series, but it is cool nonetheless. 
Now let's pull up this calculator and see how many mithril bars we need to buy and how low that 10 mil cash stack is going to go to get us to level 75 smithing. Okay, so we need to make 2,422 mithril plate bodies. It costs 5 mithril bars to make 1 mithril plate body, which means that we need to buy 12,110 mithril bars. They are currently selling for 596 each which makes buying these mithril bars cost 7.2 mil. Yikes, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. But let's put the offer in, and doing so brought our cash stack down to a measly 3 mil. However, we are going to still be getting mithril plate bodies out of this, which we are going to sell back. And the mithril plate bodies are selling for 2,850 each. And if we make 2,422 of them, we will be getting back 6.9 mil. So in reality, we're only losing about 300k, assuming that the price of these mithril plate bodies don't go down. So yeah, 300k is not bad whatsoever. However, after we do get 75 smithing, the next profitable item that we can make would be adamant plate bodies, and you need level 88 smithing to make those. So we're actually going to need to be doing mithril plate bodies all the way from 68 to 88 in order for us to start making some cash smithing. And that is something I am not going to worry about right now. So, uh, yeah, guys, I will leave these in overnight. It's currently 3.34 in the morning. And so when I wake up tomorrow, hopefully these all would be purchased. Tomorrow. And wouldn't you know, it's the next day and all of the mithril bars have been purchased. Super excited to get 75 smithing cone up here. Not sure how much XP an hour making mithril plate bodies is, but I will let you guys know for sure because I think it's going to be a pretty good amount. Once again, we're not going to be using our run energy because I don't want to manage going back and forth and running and not running and all that. So uh, yeah, I will be back with you guys as soon as we figure out the XP an hour with only walking. And the numbers are in. We're getting about 155,000 XP an hour with just walking to and from the anvil. It's way, way, way less AFK than it was making silver bars. Because you use five bars at a time, you only spend about 10 seconds at the anvil before you have to bank again. However, at these XP rates, I do not mind one bit. In just the time it took me to figure out what the XP rates were per hour, we're already almost 70% of the way to level 69 smithing, which is absolutely crazy. Hey, would you look at that? We just got a genie lamp. Good thing I didn't go into the bank yet. We're going to be using this, obviously, on runecrafting. I only have Slayer here for my other account. Here we go. 500 extra runecrafting XP. Very, very nice. And all right, here comes a big level. Level 70 smithing. Only five more levels to go. And at level 70 smithing, we can now smelt adamant ore and make adamant daggers, which is very nice. I don't think either are profitable. Definitely not the adamant daggers. So chances are we are never going to do those even once on this account. Also, excuse the bad XP per hour. I haven't been paying complete attention the entire time I've been doing this. With the amount of XP I'm getting per hour, I'm not really worried about being super efficient. I apparently did some math wrong because we only need to make one more mithril plate body in order to get level 75 smithing but i have 13 left so we're just gonna make one and there we go level 75 smithing we can now make adamant scimitars and if we were a member we can now make dragon kite shields if we did dragon slayer 2. i've never done that quest before the farthest i've ever gotten a main account was monkey madness and dragon slayer 1 so uh yeah it's pretty cool to know that if we were a member we can make dragon kite shield the stats are looking really nice now besides this level 60 fishing, so we're going to go do that right after we sell all of these mithril plate bodies. Okay, let's see how much the mithril plate bodies are currently going for. And they are going for 2,879. So let's put all of these in for 2,875. Let's see if these sell and how much money we get. I hope all of these sell. If they do, that would be fantastic. But I'm not really in a rush right now because we're going to go do some fishing. So I'll see you guys at Barbarian Village. Just got the mime event. I'm excited to see what outfit piece I get next. Oh, and by the way, seeing this name just reminded me, this guy was the mule of all of those mining bots from a previous video that I made a long time ago. I added him just to see if he gets banned or not. And it's been months and months and months and he still isn't banned. So that's pretty interesting. But anyway, here we go. We can now use the glass box emote. So no outfit piece. 
But we now have one out of four mime emotes, which is pretty cool. Just got a sneaky level 40. Sound production take two. Just got a sneaky level coming in, 65 fishing. We remember we can catch Karambwan, which would be pretty cool. I've never done that before. I'll tell you what though, fishing here is super, super boring. I'm not looking forward to getting another 700,000 XP here, but it is what it is. And we are going to stick it out because these base level 75s, minus rune crafting, of course, is going to look so nice once everything's done. Also, I still have yet to receive a single beginner clue bottle. Not sure what's going on there, but um, when we get them, we do them, and we haven't gotten a single one yet. All right, we cannot carry any more fish, but we've just got level 67 fishing. No unlocks to level 67, but as you guys can see down here, I've been here for almost four and a half hours, and I have still yet to receive a single clue scroll bottle. It's crazy, almost 200,000 XP gained here, and no bottle whatsoever. All right, level 68 fishing. We remember we can now go into the fishing guild. That would be very nice to do. If only I could fish minnows in free to play. As you can see down here, we're about to get six hour logged and we still did not get a single clue in a bottle. I even ran over and checked the bank and we don't have one sitting in there. So I have no idea why we didn't get a single beginner clue scroll in six hours of fishing. But here comes a beautiful level 69 fishing. Let's head to the bank, make sure I didn't miss the clue scroll when I looked earlier. I really hope I didn't miss a clue scroll because then I just wasted a ton of XP here without any chance of receiving a clue. Okay, and the moment of truth. Do we have a beginner clue scroll? I do not see one in a bottle here, and I don't see anything in my other slots, but let's just search it. I didn't search it last time. We'll just type in clue. And we have a clue scroll. Wow, that's annoying. I didn't even see it up here. I don't know when I got it, and I don't know when I put it up there. That's super annoying and quite sad. Uh... <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go do the clue scroll real quick, and then we'll get back to fishing. I'll see how many I get by the time I get up to level 75 fishing. We have six levels to go and just under 600,000 XP. We're about halfway to level 75 fishing. Can you believe that? But uh, yeah, let's go crack this clue out and see how many more clue in a bottles we get. Hey, another level three skiller here in the 500 total worlds. So somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. Okay, anyway, let's get back to fishing. And it's finally time. Level 70 fishing. If we remember, we could catch Leaping Sturgeon. Very cool. Weirdly enough, after doing that beginner clue scroll, we still have yet to get a beginner clue bottle. So we weren't getting one before because I was apparently blind. And now we're just not getting one. So, uh, yeah, I guess we will see how many we get within five levels. Um, interested to see. And after completing this event, we get the climb rope emote. Very interesting. Very interesting. Quick gravedigger event coming in. And I accidentally held space through it, but we just unlocked the zombie dance emote. We're slowly but surely completing everything in order to fill out our emote slots. Level 71 fishing coming in here. We remember we could use a crystal harpoon. That would be nice. 72 fishing 73 fishing I'm not getting as many clue scrolls as I thought I would be getting and level 74 fishing only one more level to go and with only one more fish to go here comes level 75 fishing we are finally done we now have base level 75s besides rune crafting of course and in the bank we have eight reward caskets it's too bad that I didn't realize that I had a clue scroll in the bank for the first almost half of this entire fishing grind. But once I did figure it out, we still didn't get nearly as many caskets as I was expecting. So far, we've only pulled two uniques, which are the Shoulder Parrot and the Guthix Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. We need basically everything else. We only have two of 16 so far. So let's see if we get anything new. Here comes the first casket. Nothing. Second casket, nothing. Third, definitely nothing. Fourth, no. Fifth, no. Sixth, no. Seventh, no. And the last casket, 
we got absolutely nothing worth basically anything. But believe it or not, out of those eight caskets, we made a total of 7,000 GP, which surprisingly is not bad at all. These blue wizard robes and this staff of air really helped a lot. Usually each clue is like 200 to 300 GP. So we actually made out pretty well on the beginner clue scrolls. But anyway, guys, that about sums up this video. If you liked it, please leave a like below. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next video comes out. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I think it's very possible, but only time will tell. So yeah, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.